morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm trying to wait for a second. Good morning. I had to take the bandit off my heel because my heel like cracked the other day apparently and it's got like it was bleeding a little bit. So that's fun. It was really hurting, so I put a bandit on because you know, yeah. And now it's actually like it bled through the bandit pretty good over the course of a day and a half. How y'all doing? If I can remember how to fucking get my mouse to work. Here we go. Alright. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion. Wait, it's doubling it. Hold on, shit. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Right? The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods. So Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Yeah. Well, I went live first, and then realized, oh, wait, apparently my stomach says I need to go to the restroom. And I was like, hopefully it won't take long, but just in case, I don't want to be sitting on the starting student screen for 15 minutes or so. So, then I uh, stopped the stream, went and did that, came back about five and a half minutes later, and started putting out all my stuff, but I forgot to hit start stream again. So, uh, I did some stuff with my stream deck, uh, that I had been waiting to do, or waiting to figure out how to do and all that shit, so, um, uh, added some new sounds. Sir, are you classified as human? Uh, negative. I am a meat popsicle. You chose... Poorly. You have chosen wisely. I'm keeping you on me, jerk you off! Uh, Shakespeare in the Park? Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? This is. There are no men like me. Oh, no. radar, sir. What's wrong with it? I've lost the bleeps, I've lost the sweeps, and I've lost the creeps. So, that's the new sounds, at least. And uh, my BRB sound, I melded it with my BRB button, so it should do this now with one press. Hey, hang on, you guys. I'll be right back. So, because before, I was doing, I, I'm still figuring this shit out. So, I was like, oh, cool, I can delay and do this. So, go eat your bone, little lady. Don't talk back. Go eat your bone. <clears throat> Come on. Wanna get mommy? Come on. Come on. You open the door, you go bug her. She's trying to sleep a little bit longer, but you know, do what you gotta do, little one. <sighs> Dog is so fucking demanding and spoiled, y'all. <laughs> hey, Alpha Gamer, how you doing? I'm good. Just still kind of waking up. Oh, that one? Yeah. It's, uh, Mono, Mono's got some really, really good emotes. Or Lord John. Oh goodness. But yeah, um, just little things that I've been meaning to do. I, I have a bunch of other sounds I need to add, but uh, I mean it's a work in progress. Part of it's finding the right sounds, and then it's putting it on there, figuring out the volume it needs to be at, and then finding the proper picture to put on the button. Because I don't want to leave it with just the words and some stupid fucking image that... You no, know, I want it to have a fucking... like a goddamn meme image, you know? Anyway, uh, so... We will get to that eventually. Uh, but for now... Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, that was 20. Jesus. So. Excuse me. Oh, it's up north. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go there, down here, and then we're gonna 
I got all, get all these taken care of, I guess. <sighs> also, yeah, the reason I was an hour late, uh, Thrall and I, we didn't drink our, our tea last night, our sleepy time tea stuff, which does help. Um, and because of that, uh, while going to bed, I kind of zoned out while on my phone, and next thing I know, it had been like an hour, but then my pill had kind of worn off. So. Hey, CB, what's up? And, uh, because of that, when I woke up at 8, I was like, you know what? I'm going back to sleep for another hour. I don't want to be awake. So, I did. I mean, yeah. But Darth Revan, though. Enough of these bitches lying around? Let's go procrastination took over. No, I mean, I, I slept. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I will own the fuck up to procrastination if that's what it is, but no, like, I was, I was, I was busy yesterday. Other than playing ESO with Raw last night, I was working on sounds. Alright, uh. Fucking harpies and shit. There they are. We need to die. Yeah, harpies, the hybrids, okay. Anything Darth get your dick hard? Game, why did you click out of the game? Inventory, there we are. And I did think about streaming yesterday, but ultimately didn't. So Well, I mean, yeah, but Palpatine, okay, I mean, Palpatine was Emperor Palpatine, he was really Darth Sidious, but that was really only before he, you know, took over, and then he just kind of dropped the whole Darth thing. So before he was Darth, before he was Palpatine, when he was Darth Sidious, he didn't look as ugly. Yeah, no. not a fan of the walking ball sack. I mean, we don't really see what Darth Plagueis looks like, though, do we? Like, in canon? Like... I, you know, Legends lore? Yeah, I, I can see it, but... I was trying to loot, but I guess I can start a fire. Flying assholes. I mean, he might as well have been, like... I mean, you know, they just hand out those titles willy-nilly. You know, somebody's like, oh, you want to be a Sith? Alright, well, as long as you kill some people... Alright, now you're Darth, fuck you. You know. Harpy's got their nest here. <clears throat> It's always kind of funny when you look at the... Uh, what's his name? The place got around. Adam Driver. Because he was in the fucking military. <clears throat> and then decided he was going to be an actor. And is actually a pretty good fucking actor. You know? I think uh, Star Wars was the first time I had seen him in anything. 
but he played a great fucking role in Logan Lucky with uh, Channing Tatum and uh, Daniel Craig, where he was, uh, you know, max military guy with like arm, you know, gone, so he had the fucking thing. But <clears throat> it is a long and arduous process. But I mean, you know, you kill a few younglings and you know, do the bidding of your your lord and above you, then that just make you a Darth. It's fine. Where's the symbol? Okay, I guess I just gotta... Well, I don't think it's gonna be in there. Oh yeah, I forgot to leave the goddamn nest. Hey, Lumina, how you doing? Hope you're having a good morning. Usually it's got the uh, the symbol, so you know you're at the right place, and obviously it's the right place, but for what we're assuming it is. Oh, don't get me stuck here. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Tree, for stopping me. Appreciate it. You need to watch the Obi Wan show on Disney Plus. Even if you don't watch the whole thing, if you watch like the last half of them or the last two episodes, because he's back in it, and it was really cool because uh, Ewan McGregor plays Obi Wan. Um, I remember in the interview because okay, whenever they did the prequels, he never actually got to see. Anakin in the Darth Vader costume, because they only really did that for that one scene where, you know, they put him together, and he goes, no, and then, yeah, anyway, um, and he said the first scene that they had together in the Obi-Wan show, it's, it's not a spoiler, it's, they face off a bit, obviously, um, he basically about shit himself, it's not so bad, the ending, the last bit was really good, the fight with them at the ending, the emotion that they portrayed was amazing, the first few episodes weren't as good. True. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Obi-Wan, uh, Ewan McGregor, was basically shit himself when he saw him in the, you know, outfit. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucking great, man. Still, though, I mean, it's worth watching at least some of it for the characters alone. So. The fuck? Where the fuck is this shit? I'm not seeing it in here anywhere. Or wait, is that it somehow I'm barely seeing? Okay, so how do I get up there then? There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, you didn't hear anything back from those from the people? Damn. No, I forgot about the mods. Now that's procrastination. There, this place is done now. There we go. And aside from the first episodes being a little rocky, um, the girl who plays a uh, young Princess Leia, fucking perfect uh, Vivian Blair, I think her name is, um, spot fucking on casting for a child actor for a established role. It's always cool to see Jimmy Smith again, you know, it's Bail Organa. I still don't even. F oh, wait, I know why it doesn't feel like I'm on the highest difficulty. Because I'm in a zone where stuff's like 10 levels below me. So eventually I'm gonna go up against some harder shit. And I'm gonna get my fucking ass wrecked, y'all. And like, the Boba Fett show, Book of Boba Fett, had some issues, but overall, it was still kind of cool. Like, there was cool stuff that happened. Um, the Mandalorian episodes of it were obviously the highlight. Boy, she's not waking up for you, puppy? Hey, come here. But, I mean, can we just really just talk about how fucking brazen it was of Obi-Wan to put Luke Skywalker on Tatooine at... And still keep the last name Skywalker on him, right? Even though he lives with the Lars. Well, okay, so, that's the thing. I don't know if he actually used the name Skywalker until he found out from Obi-Wan Kenobi who his dad was. You know what I mean? Like, in, in Episode 4. Because... We don't really know. He might have just been like, hey, and he's like, okay, well, that's my last name, really, so I'm going to go with it. Probably. But how ballsy is of, of Obi-Wan to put him with people that he was kind of related to by marriage, um, just knowing that that motherfucker was never going to set foot on Tatooine again. Back here, you bitch. Come here. Cave, y'all. Let's go spelunking. That was bad timing. Come here, ladies. I got a present for you. It's called a sharp fucking sword. This treasure was so guarded, y'all. Shit. Now, you know how you, you can, in Skyrim, you know, it's so easy to get to places that you shouldn't be able to get to. Now, imagine if they added a dismantling in Skyrim. You'd be unstoppable. If Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't have mantling, I'm missing out. Anyway, anybody got anything fun going on today? Other than Rogue, who's kicking ass with Not Silver Republic finally?
I don't. Oh yeah, mission's great. Like I said, it's been 20 years since I actually, actually really played through the game. I, I'm gonna have to replay it, because I, I, I also want to play 2, because I never really got far into 2. And all I've heard is people talk nothing but good about it. I'm just so glad you finally got it fucking working. Not because I felt like the money was wasted or anything, because it was cheap as fuck. But just because I knew you'd like it. And before, so it's basically also like the first Star Wars game I think that lets you do any kind of uh, customizing of your lightsaber. Oh, little bitches. Hey, hey, bitch. Cassie, I just saw a fucking shooting star. That's cool as shit. Cassie. Go get mommy. Come on. Go get mommy. Wake her up. Tell her it's her turn. Turn her into a bio slut. Weren't you already though? So there's another older game they did that I never really played called Jade Empire. Uh, it's nothing to do with Star Wars, obviously. But it was kind of a, just I'm pretty sure it was Bioware that did that. I never played much of it either. Like, I remember when it got out, when it came out, I got it at the time, but then I just. I don't know. Everything at the time felt hollow after fucking Kotor. <laughs> Not your lucky day. Like, I remember, like, the main stuff about the game, but, like I said, it's, it's, it's been so fucking long. When I replay it, there's gonna be stuff that I'm, like, I'm gonna be like, oh, shit, yeah, that's right, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's one way to go up there, girl. What the fuck, man? Fire Swallower. Kinky. I saw a video of some uh, roofers on TikTok. Um, and they were setting up a ladder that was at a really good angle. Um, to try to... Because they have the dog that likes to climb the ladder and get up on the roof with them while they're working. He's safe and everything. But the dog decided, fuck that ladder. I'm just going to climb the normal ladder. Which is almost like... Maybe that much of an incline. It's like a pit bull climbing a fucking ladder, like it's like it's nothing. Like man, climb ladders better than I can. That's for sure. <laughs> I fucking hate climbing ladders, bro. Like I'm not afraid of heights. I'm afraid of what happens if you fall from the height. You know, and vertigo can be a little bit of a thing depending on, like you know, you see the videos of the people up on top of the fucking the fucking the really tall fucking things. You know, like like that movie that came out with recently. You know, and they show, like, the video looking down. Yeah, that can be a little disorienting, to say the least. What was this? You mean I can't light on fire? <sighs> I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. <clears throat> Very 
Yeah, it had that little, like, cute little, uh, you know, axe to pet jacket on with, like, a little green, looked like grass mohawk on it. The pit bull, for those who don't know what I'm still talking about. Of that game because <clears throat> so fucking cool. <laughs> Not that I need another honeycomb, but I'm taking it anyway. What the fuck? That you're trying to square off of me? Come at me, bitch. You have no fighting. Oh. Spice for that, you fucking. Another white gold and all spice. After all this time to wake up so she can take the dog, I guess. You know, I was gonna let her sleep in our hour, but whatever. Thanks, Cassie.
why not? Okay, so now I guess we're gonna go that way, that way, down there, and go over there and hit these. Actually, I could just. It would be faster to go from here, hit that, then go back, teleport over here, do these, and then just swim back, probably. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Why not? Hmm, fruits and berries. Nuts and berries? Yeah, I know, I could take a bottle, but... Where's the fun in that? Yeah, but how close is the closest boat, though? That's my question. I mean, it does show where boats are. And there's no boats around right here. Over here are boats. But the closest boats to where I am, up there, and up there, that's just too far away right now. <laughs> Here I go to murder the whole academy. <laughs> By the time I could get back out to get a boat to where I am, I feel like it's just a waste of time. Swing's fine. Swing works just fine. Join me, ladies. Let's go. Notice this game edges the line between Sith and Light. In the movies, they made it pretty black and white. Here, they're like, emotions are hard. We mostly don't. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, it really continues to show that the Jedi Order somewhere had shit fucked up in, in their teachings, you know? Like, they decided that while you must acknowledge and ignore them, the movies are like, just, you know, you can't, you know? And it just shows that they had lost their way. And that's why Palpatine was able to do what he did. You know, if they had been... If they hadn't been faulted like they were, they might have been able to see things coming a bit better. I don't think it's canon lore anymore, but I'm pretty sure in the Legends lore that um, Obi-Wan knew about Anakin and Padme, but, you know, ignored it anyway.
And uh, on Disney Plus, they've got a sh they've got like six episodes of like a cartoon thing called uh, Tales of the Jedi. And um, in it, it goes into a lot more detail with Count Dooku when he was younger, when Qui Gon was his uh, Padawan, and you know, whenever uh, in Episode Two, when Obi Wan is talking to Dooku, and you know, Dooku's like, uh, I, I miss your mastery, all that, you know, and Obi Wan's like, oh, he would have hated you and cut you down where you stood, and. Dooku kind of gives that look because the way they had it all written was essentially that Qui-Gon, while being a good person and a good Jedi, was more ascribed to the middle ground of things, understanding that it's not all black and white, you know? And if he hadn't died at the end of episode one, then stuff with Anakin would have been far different. At least that's what I was going to say. Is cave I'm missing over here or something? Nope, just me falling off the mountain. It's one thing to completely just ignore attachments and emotions, but you can't. Doing so is stupid. You can... I mean, you can ignore them, but I mean, as long as you accept that they are what they are. Come on, let's go. And at the same time, the Sith teachings are kind of shitty too. But at the same time, at least they at least they stick to their guns, I guess. Okay, where the fuck? Okay, where the fuck is this treasure on this little island here? I don't... Know. There's nothing here. Like, it says it's literally it's like right here. But I know it's in the area, but I still don't see anything in this whole area. Other than like, you know, fucking herbs. Let me check this out again, maybe I just didn't see it. Show me what you got. Why are you whining now, puppy? Oh, I thought you were better. Just, I thought you had already put the food in the wall. That's all I was curious. Stop. Hey, so I'm glad you got to work, and I knew you'd enjoy it. Like once you get over the archaic system that it uh, that you have to do, which is D and D 3.5, basically. 
Actually, I don't even know if it's 0.5, it's like the third edition. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first uh, Star Wars game where you can customize uh, your lightsaber, which was fucking so cool. What? No? What am I supposed to hear? Oh yeah, I couldn't hear that from over here, huh? Sadly, I mean, I even took my headset off for a second to try to hear. I couldn't hear. I believe it though. Fifty feet. Smuggle stuff. Point cloud. What? Such a cool point blank shot too, and then you didn't die from it. Like, how rude are you gonna be? Apparently, pretty fucking rude, huh? Okay. Um, now, we make our way to the island. Guess we're right about there is where we need to make landfall. I mean, it's only another 450 fucking feet, right? You okay? Huh?
What? Yeah. I don't. I don't think she finished it. She didn't seem to want it. Was it what? Because the peanut butter, she didn't seem to want it. I was like, no, you're taking it. If you want a bone, that's the one you're getting. I don't know. I was over here. That's why I don't know if she finished it or not. I don't think she did, based on the amount of time she was back to whining. The only gripe about this game is the lack of direction when it comes to missions. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it, yeah. Wasn't very good about uh, explaining those things, you know. It's like, oh, uh, have fun. You know, the way other games later on that they did worked out so much better. Like, you can see where they got a lot of ideas from and what they, where they fixed stuff, you know. And they're remaking that game, by the way. I just don't know when it'll be remade, when it'll be done. But it'll probably lose the the D and D system. The it'll probably be more of a active combat system instead of you know turn based as it was kind of thing. Well, turn based ish, based on character speed and whatnot. Um, but yeah, man. Not your lucky day. probably have better quest tracking and stuff. I need one more fucking hope, right? I'm gonna fist fight long enough to run out of difficulty because I cannot seem to fist fight to save my life in this fucking game on any difficulty higher than low. Yeah, um, if you ever get decent internet, uh, the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO is based on that, basically. Um, it takes place a little while later, but it's pretty good. And it's got a lot of different stuff you can do with classes, which is pretty cool. Hi, dog. Let our case be the giant. I use it to swap pests. Oh. See the best watch yourself. Excuse you. Uh, greetings, stranger. Salt air gives a man a powerful thirst, don't it? Wouldn't mind a look at your stuff. Thirst for game, I think he says. Right, what do we got here? We got a necker. Why not? 
Like I say, uh, I'm pretty sure it's free to play, which is great. Um, there's only so many cla uh, races you can be right off the bat unless you buy them, uh, but there's nothing wrong with the ones that you can be. Um, like you can be bounty hunter, you could be a smuggler. Uh, those are two sides of different things. Uh, ooh, there's Harpy. And it's cool. Jesus, how you doing? 46 gigabyte? Yeah, that, that's gonna take you uh, like five weeks or something, right? It'll feel like five weeks, I mean. Farewell. Breakfast and vanillas. Nice. Stranger, wouldn't mind a look. Farewell. All right, now the game. Stranger, Salt can't play Witcher without playing some point. All right. Got a thirst for gambling myself. Cards, preferably uh, went. Oh, I think you said it. It takes Rogue several days too. Her and her is really bad. Plus, she's out in the middle of nowhere. In the desert. You're in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky. My opponent will go first. I have a spy card for one of these decoys. Jesus Christ. Is that the day to download, like is it just downloading the game, or is that in the launcher downloading the updates? Because there's two different downloads. One is just getting the launcher, basically. His, is his deck this shitty that he doesn't have extra cards to put out with stuff? Like, bruh. Interesting. See him down. Oh, okay, yeah. Huh, that's kind of interesting. So he passed, I could have just passed my way, but sort of. This innkeeper is not good at this. Three days ago, Wonderlands on your Series X. I mean, Wonderlands isn't small. It's a good size. <laughs> I'm going straight to hell. Mm, do I want to put Geralt out or Siri first? Mm, Geralt. Go with Gold Gary. Gary of Riviera. What you got? Mr. Six points. Let's 
see an update the lines around here, but I don't have them in a dark rally. Like, do you live, like, in the middle of nowhere? Or, like, outskirts of anything? Or what? The thing is, okay. What? Why? I'm confused. What's in two weeks? What you got? Uh, Dead Space to play? I'm good with Gwent though. This doesn't take me long at all. He did the thing where it picks any weather from his deck and it played a clear weather. Oh my god. When's easy though? Like, I, I got this shit down. Like, two cards. Unless he's got two scorches or something, he's got nothing to give you there. Yeah, see? I win. No, it's not the hardest. I'm just doing that. As far as right now, I'm just planning to get the cards that I'm missing, you know? Snort. Mm -hmm. Man, you've got a breathing issue there. Such a long name on that card. Excuse me. At least I have two open skirmishers now, but I don't think it's worth putting in that deck. Tell me, dear, do I look like continent? Do you look like continental poultry? Yes, you do, man. Her who is virgin mother and crone. What do you need? Uh, oh, come no stuff. The heat from the furnace is something awful. Pretty sure I can handle it. What are you selling? What's good? What's good? That's right, what I need to buy is a fucking herbalist gets wall slice so I can make that last potion I need for that other one. So long. What do you need? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. <sighs> Stick my northern realms because I'm good with that deck. Yep, there go first. That's perfectly fine as well. I get good scorch. Okay, I need one. new band-aid today. Um, no wonder it was hurting so much it was actually bleeding through. Yeah. I put Neosporin on it, so hopefully it helps. I'll go with that one up. <clears throat> Winston first, what's he do? Heaven. 
Ribbonus gave it a bit of a David. Card. Good. We're gonna spy cards apparently. Although I can play it from his graveyard though. That was the easiest round I've ever had right there. Jesus. Okay. It's an extra three points I'll give with without having Siri out, so why not? God, that rail's gonna be worth much. Alright, that works actually very well. Cool. out first. Hoping he will do a scorch eventually. There it is. Okay, cool. I'm perfectly fine with that because uh, I'm going to demolish this guy's hopes and dreams in a second. Last card is probably clear weather or something stupid. <laughs> Nothing worth playing apparently. Hundred and one to twenty eight. Take it. Eventually I will up the difficulty on Gwent. Uh, for now, like I said, I'm just gonna get the cards I'm missing. Robleth on a scout.
potions back, you see. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna try to do this on the hardest difficulty for fighting this asshole, because fuck that shit. I mean, at least I don't like, went on easy. I, mean, I have it on normal. Sever his hair. Head of a giant in your mouth. Horses plowing the garden. I knew if he fell himself to the hair with Hitch, he'd never make it. Looking for more challengers? Welcome to our tournament, Witcher. Einar awaits an opponent. Do you wish to fierce him? <clears throat> I mean, Arnir looks like quite the fighter. Or... He's Madman Lugos's bastard. Takes after his da. So we gonna fight or chatter? Let's not keep Einar waiting. May it be a clean and beautiful fight. Yeah, if you uneasy. win, you're entitled to fight our champion. Yeah, what's the champion? Fight! Head of a giant on your mountain. Well, you're allowed to say that is a decoration. You sheep sugar! Onward! Never fight a witcher. Fight. Congratulations on your you victory. victory. Time for your next challenge. If you don't fear fighting a champion, Olaf awaits you on Anskellig. Sounds like a plan, sir. Up my difficulty again. So I don't know why it is, but the fist fighting in this pisses me off. Like, I, I seem to be able to do everything else on the hardest difficulty now, but fist fighting on anything higher than easy? It's such a pain in my fucking ass, and I don't know why. Like, what the actual fuck? Hmm? Okay, let's go find the cat stuff. The catwalk, yeah. I found the cat. Ha 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 ha! There are no men like me. I will say, Rogue, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, not as good as KOTOR. Like, the story beats aren't exactly as good, because it's an MMO. They did their best, you know. Wait, who's up top yelling for help? Why go inside the monster's asshole then? Or wait, what? Probably a quest up here somewhere. I've not seen you here before. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm Yuta Undimon. No man's been found who could best me in combat. Gladly fight you, but some other time. Out of my sight. Greetings, White One. Will you fight me? You? I've defeated Pharaoh's most famous warriors. 
Men so worthy of respect, I don't dare mention their names. And who is Geralt of Rivia? Someone you haven't defeated. Maybe exactly. you're not worthy of my time. You performed any great feats? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, bitch. What kind of feats you have in mind? Hmm. Sir, you as human? If you defeat Gunga, Negative. Couldn't I'm best me, popsicle. but he's a brave man and a worthy opponent. Good. I'll give it a shot. See you soon. I truly wonder if you will. Farewell. The sorcerer. Turn my shit down for nothing. As well adjust, maybe. Probably getting burned out of my skull. Let's see. Fought Utah. And she bested me. But there's no dishonor in losing to her. Though it is a shame. Why? It were a fair fight, one worth remembering. But if I had won, I could have presented her an altogether different sort of challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seemed a little unapproachable to me. <laughs> she awaits a man she can't defeat. In fact, she's declared that only a man who beats her can hope to woo her. Interesting way to look for a husband. I'm not sure it's marriage she's after. Uh, a last like that's one in ten thousand. I want to fight you. Why me exactly? Asking out of curiosity, given you're a foreigner. All right. Yuda said she'd fight me if I defeated you. Yuda said that? means that if I win, she'll give me another chance. Well, come on, let's do this. You step outside the ring, you lose. Got it? I didn't realize it was like this kind of fight, so I'm gonna back up. I think I won. Right. Enough. You fight well. Not well enough. Good luck with Utah.
I now can fucking see at least. That cat's great if you're in a cave for a while, but I didn't realize I wasn't going to be in a cave fighting for at least a few minutes. Or well. Guess I learned real quick, eh? You'd be no match for him. All right, we'll see how you fare against me. Ready when you are. Then let's start. May Freya choose the victor. Wait. Foul. No, I'm Fraud. Sure. I immediately hit that button. I was trying to hit W to move forward, and my finger grazed the fucking key. Alright. Also, it does answer the question I was wondering if I could use those, but that was an accident. There's four of puppies. Come on. Come on. You've come greetings. I defeated Gundar. Mm. She's gone now. She went back to her spot once so I told her when he left. All right. We'll see. Ready when you are. Then let's start. May Freya choose the You have a hard time finding worthy opponents. In the end, one came along. Where'd you learn all that? At Care Morin. At Care Morin? That's terribly far. But you learned a great deal on the road as well, yeah. surely. Would you tell me about it? It'd make for a long story. All right. We need a quiet spot, some good mead, and. Kick ass. What do you say? Okay, all gone now. Come on. Gladly. See you at the inn. Too rowdy. Come to my home in Harvican. I'll be waiting after dusk. See you later then. Come on, sheep. Apologize, and I'll spare you. What you can spare me is your little spend. Enough of this talk. I'm gonna get some pussy. Out of bed, is that better? You've come a long way. And wait till dusk. Hmm. Hey there. Hmm. Hey there.
greetings. I started to think you changed your mind. I'd never miss a chance to spend a pleasant evening with you. Ow, I don't know that I'll make for engaging company. In truth, I rarely talk to men. Rarely. Welcome back. Why? Well, I don't like to waste time chatting before fights. And after them, I've none left to talk to. And now that I've finally met someone stronger, seems Freya's played a cruel trick on me. What's Freya got to do with it? I swore to the goddess that only he oh, who bested me in battle would lie with me, I see. take me as his wife, and give me children. <clears throat> I can't really help you with the second and the third, but I'm sure I can think of something to satisfy the first. Exactly what I'd hoped for. Sexy time. Oh my. You have chosen wise. I think he hit the spot, yo. Oh shit, let's try to charge my watch. Battery left on the watch. So, what is she to you? The sorceress, Yennefer, right? <clears throat> hey there. Really? I have to get dressed myself? Jesus. Yes. Uh, flour or corn? Either one is good. To be fair. I like all tortillas. Oh, like I'll eat them, I just don't care for them as much as the other ones. So, there's a brand, like the main fucking brand of tortillas that everybody fucking knows. Don't ask me what it's called right now, I can't remember. Uh, but it's flour, the ones that they're all likes. But they're, they're, they're called fluffy, so they're a bit like thicker, I guess. I don't care for them as much as other ones. Is for tacos only. I mean, I'm pretty sure eggs and tacos would be fine. Uh, yeah, I think it's Mission. Is it Mission? Is that the brand? Yeah, Mission Tortillas, the light and fluffy ones, this one she likes. I don't know, they just taste doughy to me, I guess. I mean, I'll eat them, but I really prefer the ones I like, which is the uh, La Banderita, I think. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Yourself, kitty cat. Sorry, when you said mission for a second, I thought you were asking about the character. <laughs> um, there you go. Do you have some shit making me home? You're not too lazy for that, though. Hey, smear your ass with. Plus, I'd probably never gain weight if I made my own tortillas at home. <laughs> it's 
I know what homemade tortillas taste like, and that's just a dangerous road to start down. What was that? Slower. Oh, that was you. It sounded like a motorbike out there. Okay. What? Whoops. Sorry, goats. I just bodied two goats with roach. I mean, I've I've had homemade ones, and they're fucking amazing. Slow now. Whoa. But, yeah. Oh, I am assuming that got cut off. Never mind. My, my medallion's going nuts. I want you to wash your face, you nasty looking looking for fuck. Hand. What for? Business. Keep prayers at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. Can I take your pills, honey? Okay. He's praying. Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another snoop. You know the drill. Whoops. Wrong gun. Pathetic. Trying to fucking properly time that and parry him, but I, I missed the timing. Next time I gotta make sure to visit the shrine on the hill and make an offering before setting out. The gods its favor. That's what matters most. So if any customers come, tell them to wait till I get back. They'll understand. They know I'm liable to get ornery when someone interrupts my prayers. Keep your eyes peeled. Hammond. Try to hit dodge too.
Let's go down there. Well, no. Go there and then I'll come back in a minute. Cool. Oh, you're fine. No need to be sorry. No need to be sorry when you're eating. Who's, who's worth it? Listen here, game. You can suck my entire ass right about now with this slut. <clears throat> Fine, I'll go over here. The entire ass. All of it. It's a big one, too. Shit's on you doing. I mean, I was on like, eating the entire ass, but I mean, suck. Did I say suck before it? I thought I said eat the entire ass. Yeah, whatever. Same thing. Right. I gotta check out this keyboard train to the new one one these days. Squeaking is annoying sound to me. I'm sure it's terrible for y'all. Gods of the sea, I've never begrudged you new gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer in the minute. Oh, Melo, don't mind me. Oh, I did. Fuck. Okay. What? Suck no. Gotcha. Whatever. You were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! I fucking missed, you dumb bitch. What a dumbass. Yeah, I, I'm not, I, I, you know, I used to, the only time I eat American cheese is if it comes on a burger or like a grilled cheese. But I prefer to have Pepper Jack and Munster in my grilled cheese. Those are my favorite cheeses. Hammond. Thought I made it clear during our last face-to-face -face talk, I don't want to keep in touch with you, and I especially don't want to do any business with you. I have no doubt the enterprise you proposed would be profitable. Nevertheless, to speak colloquially, count me out. There are plenty of other potential buyers in Novograd. Goldsmiths, jewelers, and merchants dealing in luxury goods, for starters. I don't want to get involved. Whatever you decide, I wish you well in it. Treat this letter as our final farewell. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of uh, American cheese anymore. Like I said, it's, it's, unless it's on a burger or grilled cheese. In which case, I'd still rather have Pepper Jack. Yeah. Ooh, meet Lambert? Oh, fuck yeah, finally. I'll take care of this fucking monster fucking cave. Wait, what? The monster fucking cave, yeah. The cave where you go to fuck monsters, silly. You tell me it doesn't exist? No way. All the monster fuckers go there, right? I 
I guess I killed a rabbit there too. Nope. So there's this one cheese that uh, my wife's um, aunt by marriage, uh, who they live in Washington State, and she's every year at Christmas time she sends us a container of it from WSU. And it's cougar cheese is what it's called, like the animal. And it's very strong, but god damn it's good. Like making like homemade mac and cheese with it. I almost drew a little bit thinking about it just there. It was good. And like it used to be a little too strong. This last time, whatever whatever Charles did to change the recipe up a little bit, made it slightly less strong and it ended up being completely perfect. And my stepkid does not like it, but he said he would be willing to try it if it's not as strong. So I was like, all right, well, bet. Get down here. Have you ever had monster cheese? I don't know if it's hard to get where you are at all, but it's one it's the kind of, it's it's one of those cheeses that has like a lot of like like if you get a melty it really stretches, you know. Um, but it's really good. Like it's got like an orange rind usually as well, and like with crackers, it's so fucking good, man. Okay, so I'm not fucking there, so It's like M U E N S T E R. Munster. Pretty sure it's German. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're having a bad day at work. Doing a bunch of idiots. each other. Okay. Like dumb co-workers or fucking asshole dumbass boss because both is usually a thing. Wait, is this one not turn that way?
husband is a foreman of her crew. He found he's getting paid a hundred bucks less per week. Wow. Yeah, fuck that. That's some fucking bullshit right there. That's a good way to get fucking... You know, I mean, there's a reason that people will start striking and doing unions. Because, you know, eventually it, it got bad where, you know, people were just straight up killing the, uh, the rich. You know? And it's kind of getting back to that point again. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying kill the rich. I'm just saying if you can do it, season them properly so if you eat them, it's not so bad, I guess. That's all. You know, that's not bad, right? Seems perfectly normal to say. <clears throat> yeah, that's really shitty. And that's the other thing. These fucking companies, they're always like, oh, don't discuss your wages. Like, that's, it's rude to discuss your wages between each other. No, that's what they say because they don't want you talking about who's getting fucked the most. That's what they don't want. You should 100, and if any, if any employer ever tells you you are not allowed to talk about your wages, quit. Because they're going to fuck you any chance they can. <clears throat> yeah. Here? Shit. <clears throat> oh, that's the travel where he is. Shit. Where is this supposed to be? The rates of more hogs. Keep together. I'll kill the fucker. I'll kill him. brought up yesterday in the foreman's meeting also he had to use fifty dollars of his own money to fuel equipment and was told twice he'd be reimbursed and wasn't superintendent gave him fifty dollars this morning himself after he told him about it which wasn't his place it was the owner of the company's responsible to make sure the fuel card doesn't get declined mm. Like, wonder what it's 
what it must be like to be rich and not worry about being killed by your fucking employees. Must be fucking nice, right? Like, good lord. <sighs> fucking asshole, rich people. They're the worst. Don't care about anybody at all. So basically, I need to turn that there. So I might as well go back to the old, I guess. I'm gonna just come back out here. I got a lot of quests I need to turn in, apparently. You put Lugos the fuck in. Now Dander about with Nary a fear. Yeah, I'm gonna balance them. That's just not cool. To make matters worse, he sat and told the owner of the company what the problem with production lately has been, and he simply ignored it, and now, being, now blaming someone else entirely just because the guy who was actually the problem blows the smoke and the boss's ass off. Master Geralt, <clears throat> a guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gates. See, and what's like this fucking company? I swear to God, like, and what they do is they set. They, they try to turn around and make everybody mad at, like, oh, fast food workers. Because, oh, fast food workers want $15 an hour to do a simple job like flipping a burger, which is close to my pay, whatever, so we will say. And it's like, well, if it's an easy job, why don't you quit what you're doing to go flip burgers since it's so easy? Most of these assholes probably couldn't handle working fucking fast food. Like, working fast food in retail is very different. Not saying people who do construction can't do it, but if that's what you've been doing for the last 15, 20 years... You're not going to be able to handle flipping burgers. <laughs> that shit gets insane. Yeah, favoritism's a real bitch. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. Actually, hold on. Hey, Happy. hang on, you guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Hey, Arcadia. Do I know if the main characters are voiced in Code War 2? Um, I think so. I believe so. That would probably be more like would help. Okay. Good old D2. Oh crap, I was gonna put some uh, stuff in my beard today, I just remembered. Okay. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Crack, Crack make an mean. exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Sweet. Come. Crack wits. I'm an islander, y'all. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here in Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. I can agree with we're out there. Step careful there. I have as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Don't pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilgards with me? Probably her. I like you? her a lot more. I think she'd be a better leader. The giant slayer. Oh, stop your shite boasting. It is. Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so... So... Hot. Hard. Fierce. Mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> 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 yeah, right. Like, this guy's probably not terrible, but I feel like she's a she would she just has the qualities of a leader better than he does, you know. No, went to his chambers to prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisty cuffs with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Did you sever his hair? Head of a giant on your mouth. Come on, Not try me! A decoration. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Eh? Dog. Tear him apart! Grab what a swords, but I can't lose the courage. Yalmar, can you? Shut. <laughs> Take a look. Still got all my teeth. You ain't got enough of them. Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. Not so. Care to wager on it? Drop <clears throat> any one of the build cars, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Calls. The guy with okay. lining has no yeah. neck. He's just straight Wild men. head to chest. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, <laughs> without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf. Nipples. Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. 
hit till our fists are red with blood. That's oh, big ass nipple rings, God. man. Sword, bitch. Uh, so I can sell it or scrap it. Hard. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just not, I don't have that sort of patience. Eventually, I'll try it some more. But you know. Oh, what a fight! Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. <laughs> well, that's <clears throat> the wager. Is it worth it? Okay. If that were such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here. May it serve you well. A weak arm swinging at eight. Twist your head off. <clears throat> Two hundred percent. Jesus. All right. What, what am I giving up in this one? Burning poison stun. Let's see. I figured it wouldn't be worth keeping, but I guess it was. Next time I'll try it. I probably will lose on Death March, but I'll, I'll try it next time. <clears throat> Respect, Richard. Friends, we Dare I ask what's going on in Kotoa? We show our acts. Remember that. Heard you're taking on challengers in fist fights. Mm -hmm. Challengers? Nah, man. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. <clears throat> hit till our oh. fists are red with blood. <laughs> Yeah, see, I can't fucking... I wait, I hit him once or twice, it doesn't do shit. See? Like, come on. Good morning. 
Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one. Kill, maim, destroy. What the hell? I can't move forward. There we go. I can't move forward. What the fuck, dude? What the hell is going on here? Bro, what the fuck? Um. So, CB, what the fuck's going on in my game here, huh? I can't even get to him. He can't. He's not doing anything either. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, then you fucking sneak in for a sneak attack, you shithead. Go over here then. What the fuck is this shit, man? Yeah. Fucker got god mode on and shit. I'm gonna have to. God damn it. What the fuck, dude? As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skeleton. Related to series reappearance, it had destroyed a vast... 22 hours, 50 minutes, and what, two days now? Or has it been three days? And seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Crack and Crate, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Two? <laughs> you had a problem, kidding. Oh, oh shit. I gotta do three to this fucking way, huh? Tear him apart! Yeah, she, she bought two and just already downloaded it. <laughs> and now she's also downloading uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one. Mama's love, it's just... Nice. <gasps> Pretty sure it's... Storm. Yeah. I'm st I still can't get over to him. Look at this shit. This one fight seems to be fucking bugged. Sir, it's fucking bullshit. As yet a bird, I think they told it, there's been a 
magic That's awesome. Skeleton. Related to Ceres' reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ceres' whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of the down in the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Crack and Crack. Who helped break down the druid's resolve? Got me eye on you. Okay, well I guess I'm not fucking with that quest right now. Jesus Christ, since it's fucking broken for me apparently. Fucking bullshit. I can't. I barely can hit him once because I can't get to him. How am I supposed to do the fight if I can't even reach him and he only comes in range to get, let me get one hit, which doesn't do any damage because it hits just a stamina bar. It's an impossible fight because I cannot move forward. How can I beat him? Like, it doesn't make sense. Revealed. Red Sabres don't reveal with him. <laughs> Like, I'd love to beat him, and I could, but it's just literally not letting me. Sorry, not, uh, like, mad at you guys, you're just frustrated to fight, like, it doesn't make any sense why it won't work. What do you witchers do once there are no basilisks, nations, or giants around? Friends, we show heart. Favorite colors: red and black. Black and an option. Drink last night too. To kill a giant one witcher, but I'll fuck. Tell you what, another Star Wars game you would like just because it's just fun is Jedi Fallen Order. It's so good. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Go back over here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna close my game out, reopen it, and then see if it will fucking work out, okay? Save right here. Oh, here's where I'm at. Play on. Just serve the player, alright? So with that, okay. Save. <laughs> Yeah, did did the second add yellow or orange? I can't remember. Um, okay, so exit. That dick is hard now. <laughs> when is it not? Wait, what? Play. Go to the screen while we're waiting. Oh look, you can see the light from outside. That's better, right? I don't want the clips. I want to delete the clips. I'm not trying to take the clips. Steel series thingy. Yellow and bronze on one. Oh, okay. Like I say it's been so fucking long. Yeah, so John Wick 1, 2, and 3 are leaving HBO Max on the 31st, I believe. So I was re watching one. I was like, I forgot how cute that puppy was in the beginning, and then, you know. Alright, game's back on. Sorry, it's a back scratcher. Blue, green, yellow, bronze, red, purple, cyan. Oh, okay. And you know, purple is only in there because of Samuel L. Jackson. Because in, uh, in the prequels, the conversation between Samuel L. Jackson and George Lucas was, you know, I get to choose my life there because, right? He's like, yeah, well, you know, Sith have red and Jedi have green or have green and blue. And he was like, can I have purple? He's like, yeah, we'd probably do that. Kung Fu Panda. Nice. Skadoosh. Silver, orange, yellow, teal, if you have stats, average, shorter, often, 
Isn't the shorter offhand in the, uh, like, uh, Shodi? Shodi? I remember. We will see if this works now. There has been a magic explosion in Skeleton. Related to Ceres' reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ceres' whereabouts. A druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Crack and Crate. Who helped break down the druid's resolve? Let's do this. The other thing, Rogue, is you might want to do a playthrough on on doing a Sith, just because it is very interesting how it ends up going. I can't remember, is, uh, is the Sith ending the canon one that they went with for KOTOR 2 to be a thing? Look, I can't remember. not a bad game it's just it uses D, &D third edition and it does hard once you get used to it, it's fine but oh you mean the, the romance sorry um yeah so it's just a light side dual running along a short orange surface on dark side just oh yeah let's see if this out. fucks up again how much more that's gonna fuck up again uh, uh. Yep, same thing, y'all. I don't understand. What the hell? What's this quest called? King's Gambit. No, it's not King's Gambit. Yeah, it's King's Gambit. Hold on. Isn't the first game you only have like two companions, or is it three? Anyone notice that the fight area shrinks starting on the second build curl you fist fight? It's not like the spectators grow near, but it seems that I'm hitting an invisible wall when moving. This causes me to lose since I can't avoid the attacks and punch his head like a truck. It's a bug. You have to reload to a previous save. Well, I've done that. Hey, <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, man. Like, I can't even, it won't even let me attack now. There. What the hell, man? Oh, which, uh, which, uh, Jedi Pass did you go down, anyway? Uh, what's there, Sentinel, Sage, and... Shit, it's been so fucking long. Guess I'm reloading a fucking save again, y'all. Such fucking bullshit, man. Cool, I love when the game's glitched enough where I can't do something I'm supposed to apparently do. Fucking love it. 
Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Crack and Crate, who helped break down the druid's resolve. I know Wookiee knows the, the three. I don't have to do that, I guess, so fuck it. I'm just going on with the other part. Fucking horseshit, dude. I mean, I can understand if it was like, oh, I have to relay the save, and that fixed it. Oh, oh Marauder, so, yeah. <clears throat> consular, okay. Yeah, the Consular is the one that's like a mixture between melee and force powers. Whereas the sage is more force, and then the other one is just straight. Svanrig is not vying for support. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bronze son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already have so I know, I know Rogue went, uh... privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave okay. like whores lifting their skirts for the passerby. The whores. A king by the grace of votes like is the no youths. ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Mm -hmm. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple. Sinnel, Simply that's a word. plum brandy. The hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Hmm. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. 